Hey gang, DVD Collector back. It is Tuesday and you are on the Movie Reviewers 100, the best collaboration channel in the world. And I am attempting to be the big Russian guy from Street Fighter right now. No, I just got a crazy hair to get a mohawk right now. So I have to shave it off tonight because I gotta go back to work tomorrow. But why not play with it, huh? Dos Vodonia. <laughs> Anyway, um, it's horror comedy week. I love it when it's horrors brought into this stuff. So this time they're all forced to do horror movies, even if it is comedy. Horror, genre, horror comedy is a very fun genre. I really do enjoy it. And there's a lot of good ones out there. We've already touched on a few this week, and I'm sure there'll be a lot of good ones later because there are a lot of them. Um, I tossed it up between two. I didn't know uh, Tucker and Dale, or Dale and Tucker, however you say it, Tucker and Dale, but um, I went classic. I went with um, not only one of my favorite horror comedies of all time, but my absolute favorite um, tagline on a DVD. And that's uh, House with William Cat, The greatest American hero. Right there. Also starring, uh, I always get his name wrong, George Wendt, uh, Norm from Cheers, and Richard Mole from uh, Night Court fame. Directed by Steve Miner, who also directed uh, Lake Placid and, if I'm not mistaken, Friday the 13th, 2 and 3. Uh, but back to the tagline, my favorite tagline of all time. Ding dong, you're dead. Ding dong, you're dead. Now, the really cool cover is not the one I have. It's the actual hand, which you can see up in the word house, pushing the doorbells. Ding dong, you're dead. Anyway, all right, this is a movie about uh, William Cat. He plays a Vietnam vet horror novelist. He is divorced or divorcing, I think, and uh, his son comes up missing in the house and all kinds of really weird things happen and his neighbor gets involved and we got zombies, we got monsters, we got great special effects, we got cheesy special effects, we got great storytelling, we got bad storytelling, I mean we got everything that wraps up both genres of horror and comedy into one movie. This one is the essence of both. Um, I myself love William Cat. I love The Greatest American Hero. It's one of my favorite shows growing up. I still watch it. Every couple of years I'll put it in and revisit um, you know, the superhero genre that he's in. Uh, Norm from Cheers, of course, is always a plus. He's not been in a lot of stuff that I've ever cared for, but this is one of his roles that he just plays the nosy neighbor that's trying to get, you know, he's trying to get to know William Cat's character. Um, but essentially he's the nosy neighbor. And then of course, uh, Richard Maul, who's always plays the big monster type intimidating forces. Uh, let's see, what was I? I was just reading something. Impressive, imaginative, and fun to visit. House, it is an exponentially ambiguous, refreshingly unpredictable horror comedy. That says it right there. That's, that says it all right there. 92 minutes of fun uh, and that's that's what this is this is the 80s and horror movies were really great oh it's produced by uh, sean cunningham too who directed the first friday the 13th um oh, wait, i just keep reading more and more on the back here guys i'm really really sorry about that yeah steve Miner also directed halloween h2o we can't hold that against him and warlock Anyway, horror comedy. What is horror comedy, man? So many good horror comedies that come to mind right off the bat are, of course, House. There is a House 2, and there, I believe there might be a House 3. Um, I like Ghoulies or some more. Um, Shaun of the Dead, of course. Um, Dale and Tucker. These are some newer ones. There are so many. I love the genre so much. It's just fun to watch. It's fun to poke fun at the horror genre, you know, and I don't count scary movie. I don't like the scary movie franchise. It's one thing to poke fun, but it's another thing to parody. Now, I like to parody, you know, I do. I, I do it on my own channel with my with my puppets, but that's one, one group of movies that I just have never been able to get into. Um, but check out House. House is really good um, for a number of reasons. It's because classic 80 horror movies are some of the best. 70s and 80s horror movies are were are and were the best. These are practical effects. These are not CGI effects. 
Uh, and the reason I'm bringing up so many names and stuff right now is because this channel is not really dedicated to horror. So anytime I get a chance to really talk about it, I get excited. And uh, this is one of those times. And I'm getting ready to go to a horror convention um, Saturday, which is Horror Hound, and uh, get to meet Freddy Krueger, uh, Robert England, and have a lot of stuff signed. And I'll come back and do a video for that. But uh, that's, that's my love for horror. So I thought I would treat you with my... Um, excitement to talk about house and wearing a mohawk so um, until next time guys oh look there's the cover right there inside you're cordially invited to spend an evening with Roger Cobb and his friends that's William Cat. don't come alone horror has found a new home and then there's the picture of the ding dong you're dead Taking up enough of your time, guys. Watch everybody else's videos. Watch somebody else's videos. And I will talk to you later.